Okay, what I'm working on now, I wanted, I have this little dough bowl. It's small, but it's going to go on my dining room table. And I'm sorting, sorting through things and looking for something to go in it. And I decided I wanted a pear. So I got down on my material, and I happened to have some a, a green shirt that I had thrown down in there to cut up. Just hadn't cut it up yet, but I cut it up, and I'm making me a pear. So I went into my Silhouette Studio store, found a pair, and I sized it to, it's probably about 3.75 inches wide at the widest part, and 5 inches tall. And I traced it off on the material, and took it to my machine, and sewed it up. And I always forget to stop sewing where I need to leave an opening. And I needed one up here for a little stem, so I just put little marks. And then I need to stop down here to stuff it, so I put little marks. It really did keep me from just zooming right on around, so it's an idea. But this is the size of my pair, and I'm going to see if it works. I'm going to turn it inside out and stuff it with some polyfill and see how it does. Okay. It's easy to turn inside out, that's for sure. Okay, just make sure I got all my seams stretched out. And now I'll start stuffing it with the polyfill. And I don't like the bright green. I mean, it's green. It's, it's, but I think what I'll do is put uh, the cinnamon and coffee mixture on it and see well, how that makes it look. And depending on how this turns out, I might make another one or two to go in the bowl. I don't, that's not a large bowl, so I don't need a lot of them. All right, I'm going to continue stuffing this, and I'll turn this and stitch up my little ends, get me a stem off a tree somewhere, and poke right there, and then grunge it up and see how it looks. Well, I have it all stuffed, and I went out and got a little twig. So I'm going to glue, hot glue that down in there. Oh. A little too much hot glue. You know, it kind of looks like it might need a leaf. I'll do that later, though. Okay, I've got my cinnamon and coffee mixture. I'm going to paint, oh, cat hair. Holy moly, it's turning dark. It'll lighten up. Okay, I am going to finish painting this. Take it outside and let it dry. Probably get me some kind of green or darker green or something, some other kind of material to maybe tie up there for some leaves. I don't know. It doesn't really need it. We'll see. But it'll take it a while to dry. I think the next time I make one, I will make it a little larger take my pattern and just trace around my pattern and go out about probably about a quarter of an inch or so. All right, I'm going to take it out and let it dry. Oops. Well, I like the way they turned out. I am, I've got different sizes here. So, I'm going to, I like the cinnamon that's on them because I used the cinnamon and coffee mixture. 
and that cinnamon kind of dusts off. So I am going to try spraying them with just some hairspray and hopefully it'll stay on. They won't, it shouldn't dust off as easy that way. And I got the glue string sprayed on too. Okay. Getting the bottom of them. Now, we'll set those aside and let them dry. All right, I decided I wanted some crows, or at least one little crow for a, a bowl stuffer. So I just went into my Silhouette Studio and found a candy cane, corn, not cane, and resized it and pulled and tugged on the nose a little bit and reshaped it. And I'm gonna cut this out and I'll use it for a pattern to draw on material. Okay, here's my pattern cut out, and I'm just going to trace it on here. And I've got my material doubled. And then I'll put two marks, or yeah, a mark here and a mark here, so that when I start sewing, I don't come around and just zip right past that opening because I need that opening to stuff it with. And before, let's see, before I, I need to put something, I got this out, let me see. I need something, well, I'm going to pin that and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it out, but I'm going to, if I can find the edge, or the start. Anyways, I'm gonna cut some of this off, and before I sew it, I'll stuff several pieces right here, so when I turn it back out, it'll be that way. Well, you'll see, but I don't wanna to forget to do that. So I am going to get this ready and cut it out, find the start of this, cut me some pieces, and sew it up. All right, I thought I'd show you. I got these cut. I cut five little strands. And just to keep them together, I'm going to put just a little hot glue on them. And I need to scoot them together. I just want it to hold long enough to sew it. Or put it, you know, put it right here and in there and sew it. Let me let that dry for just a minute. Okay. Well, if I could get my material apart. All right. I'm gonna put that right and I'll have to go over it very carefully with my sewing machine. Is that right? Yeah, I'm gonna put it right there. And it didn't, it's not wanting to stay. Actually, I'll pull it up, it's all together. I'll pull it up like that so my sewing machine doesn't have to go over the hot glue. Okay, is that in the center? And it is centered. Now, I'll take that in there. I'll hold that when I start sewing right there. And now I need to make my pattern for my nose. So I'll just lay this down on that. Now I don't see my black pen. I'll use this. And this won't have to be sewn, it'll just be cut. Wish I had my marker. Surely I can see that. Yeah, 
All right, I'm going to take this into my sewing machine and sew it up. I got that stuffed in there and then bring it out and turn it inside out. And I'll show you how that looks when I get finished with that. All right, I sewed it up. Those kind of went off to the side on me, but that's all right, I guess. And now I'll need to turn it inside out. Those should come out fine. Okay, make sure it's all the seams are all pulled out. And that's where I'll stitch it up when I'm finished stuffing it. Well, it kind of went off to the side. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Now, I'm going to cut the nose out that I traced off. And I'm going to glue it on there with some uh, fabric tack. And I'll probably get some white paint out and make dots for the eyes. And then when I get all that finished, then I'll... Okay, kind of left that pointed there. Fabric tack, all right. Put that fabric tack on the side that has the markings. Gonna wait for it to come down. Am I? Yes, I am. I was wondering if I was in frame. About right in there, I think. Yeah, about right there. Now, paint. Let me get my paint. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my paint out, and I looked, and I thought I was using fabric tack, and I have clear tacky glue. That must be why it's kind of seeping through. Okay, that kind of aggravates me. And I've lost my lid. I probably dropped it somewhere on the floor. Oh boy. Being me is not easy. Okay, I need... I like the way that... Might use that for a pattern. I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm going to go for it. Probably should have just dotted it. Yeah, it's up too far. But I can't do anything about it. I've already done it. It seems like everything I've touched today, I've messed up. Maybe I should stop. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then stuff this crow that's given me so much trouble. Because actually, y'all don't know, but I made one and I forgot to put this in and I glued the nose on upside down. I'm going to be honest. I glued the nose on upside down. So... I ripped the nose off, I was going to put it on the other side, and I thought, no, I'm gonna, just going to go make a good one. I'm going to, because I forgot to put this on this inside, I'm going to do it, and I started the video over. I'm being truthful, and I'm fixing to 
hurt this crow. <laughs> All right. Well, before I quit, let me see. <coughs> I'm going to put some lines on this, kind of like his nose was sewed on. And I'm using a acrylic marker. I bought these off of Amazon. I really like them. They come in handy, especially when you're wanting to do some fine marking and you need it a little darker and better than a Sharpie. Kind of make it look like it's got some stitching. All right. Now, I'm going to let that dry. And then I'll stuff it. And I'll be back. I have it sewn up, and now I'm stuffing it. I hope this turns out better than the last one. You know, my week has really been weird. I haven't got anything done I thought I was going to get done. That's because uh, I needed to go into town for some groceries, but that went out the door because I dropped a crock pot on my uh, foot toes, the top of my toes on my foot. Well, I split the skin wide open and it hurt. And I couldn't walk very well. I'm just now getting where I'm getting around. I can't, I couldn't wear shoes. I couldn't stand to put flip flops on for sure because the strap hit right where it was cut. And other shoes that cover your feet, well, I couldn't stand anything on my foot for a day or two. So I just didn't get to do what I wanted to do. I need some more stuffing. Well, I hope I can find some stuffing that's fresh. Or at the thrift store, I'm getting low. I've been a stuffing person from here lately. And then I was sitting here and I heard something at my window, my craft room window, and I looked up and there's chickens sitting there looking at me. I'll insert a video right here and let you see what I saw. Okay, thought that was kind of funny. They're the younger chickens that can get in on the front porch. The rest of them we have shut out because they tear up my flowers. But these are some that my grandkids gave me. <clears throat> and they, when I got them, they were chicks. So they're, they're still, they're grown a little more. I mean, they're not grown, but they're still, they're not baby chicks but they can fit inside the gate opening. And every time I go out there, they think I'm supposed to feed them. Every time. And then I'm not out there, so they find me in the window. Okay, I need to probably step that a little more up there in the head. I make it, I, when I, I made this sound like this is a hard project. This is such a simple project. It's just when you, mess up and do silly things. Yeah, I've been... Oh, and also this week I lost my glasses. I was in the craft room. I was in the kitchen. I was... stepped outside the back door, outside the front door. I was in the bedroom. And then I was in the bathroom. I couldn't find them anywhere. And this morning I was laying there in bed... And I thought, I have got to find my glasses. Where was I? Where could they be? And I finally thought, I was fixing a salad. And I went to get some vinaigrette dressing and some dried cranberries. And I was in the pantry. I'll bet I took them off there. Guess what? I got up, went straight to the pantry, and I found my glasses. I knew it was a matter of time. Well, I don't know. I can't say that because one time I lost my glasses. I have a habit. Okay. When I'm looking at things up close, I really, unless I really need to read something really small, 
I take my glasses off to see something, you know. So one time I was out in our shed and I was looking for something. And anyways, I left out of there and then I realized I couldn't find my glasses. Well, I forgot I had been in the shed. It was a year later, my daughter found them sitting on the workbench because we don't go out there, as it was mainly for storage. Sitting on the workbench, and they were a relatively new pair of glasses, but after a couple of days, I can't, I can't go without my glasses. So I just had a new pair made, and then a year later, found them. So I really need to stop just taking my glasses off and laying them down. All right, I have this. Long story, y'all probably didn't want to hear. <laughs> I have this ready to go. I'm gonna stitch that up. I'm not gonna ha have you watch me do that. And probably, I'm gonna put, put some cinnamon on it too. But I'll come back and show you after I get this sewn up and figure out just exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Well, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try something different. I'm going to, I'm gonna do it on the back side first. <laughs> that way and get more of a feel for it. Okay, I'm gonna rub that in. Yeah, I like the way that, that looks. It's not clumps of it. Now, to get it to stay, I'll do what I did with it, the pears. I'm gonna spray it. I bet that holds it on there. Okay. Now for the front. Okay. Clumps. Okay, now I'll spray the front. Right, I am going to let that dry. Wipe my hands off. Let that dry. And I think I want to put something else on it. I don't know. All right. I have a rusty star I can put on it. Or I have a little sunflower. I don't like the bright. I love those little, pa well, <clears throat> paper sunflowers. I'm gonna try this, uh, what is this, vintage photo? That one's kinda like it's drying up. Oh, it's not drying up. go around it with some of that to kind of take the stark yellow off. Some projects I like that and some not. I could just put the coffee and cinnamon mixture on it, I guess. tips real good. All right. There's goes the cinnamon. Put that in there. Take this and just do that. Let's see now. I don't know. Hmm, that's still a little too bright for me. It still has too much yellow in it. For the, to, I don't know. Maybe not. Or the star. I 
That still just looks plain. I think I like the sunflower. You know, I think, where is that cinnamon? I won't stir it up, I'll just get the coffee. See if this works. Where'd it go? Okay, I'm gonna dry this with my heat gun right fast, but I'm not gonna have y'all sitting here waiting. Okay, that dulled it down and it still has the yellow. I like that. I like that better than the star. It gives something to it. Just gives a touch to it. Okay, I have my pears done. I have my crow done. And now I think I'm going to try to put my uh, dough bowl together. And really, guys, this wasn't that hard. And you know what? The material I used, this was part of a sheet that I bought at the thrift store that I ripped a lot of it up for... I'm going to make a rag rug still someday. I'll get around to it, but that just that's something I do of the evening, take time to do. And I've only got part of the sheet ripped up, and I still got to do the burgundy one and an ivory one. Might be another color. I'm not sure, but I've got to rip that up. And this is something that was curtains that I bought at the thrift store glue strings going. So, and this stuff here was bought at the thrift store. This was at the thrift store. The stuffing was from the thrift store. I love to thrift, and I haven't been for a long time. I'm going to quit rambling, and I haven't been out of the house in so long. Got to talk to people. I'm rambling, aren't I? Okay, I'm going to start working on my dough ball. All right. Here's my dough bowl all stuffed, and boy, do I have it stuffed. I uh, made one, two, three, four of the pears. I really like how those turned out. And then there's a cloth pumpkin that I made last year. I'll leave, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave that link below. And then I put in some cloth flowers that I made. And if you haven't seen that one, I'll link it below too. And there's my little crow. And of course, then I put in some fillers. I put in some puka pods. That's those little orange pumpkin looking things there. Some cinnamon sticks, apple slices, some orange slices here and there. And then a few little things out of the potpourri bag I got from the thrift store. And some Spanish moss. I stuck in some just here and there. And of course, you know, I very seldom do a craft without a candle, a grubby candle. So guys, that's how it turned out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And God bless each and every one of you. And until the next one, we'll see you later. Yeah.